Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to A Leaf to Live. In this vlog series, I take you along with me on my two month solo backpacking trip around Southeast Asia. So today is our last day in Kaosok National Park and it's the last day I am with Jessica so that's a sad goodbye but we're gonna go just now to eat something for lunch and then we're gonna book our respective buses out of here and yeah tomorrow or actually later tonight I'll be near the airport at Surat Thani ready to go to Bangkok and then from there to Cambodia and Siem Reap so yeah a lot of traveling ahead but just now we're gonna as I said eat and then Go for a little walk. I don't know if the jungle is close, but we hope to get to see some more of this amazing, amazing, amazing view that I'm going to show you again. I know you guys saw it already, but I just can't get over how beautiful this is. We're so, so lucky. And yeah, we're alone in the hostel room again. Last night, an English guy and a German girl came, but they left for their two day tour. And so we're alone again. Jessica booked one more night, so we're leaving all of our stuff near her bed and then. Yeah, that's that's us. But um, yesterday we had the most amazing time. So, so good at the lake. And we went for a dip inside. It was really great. So, two more adventures like that. We're going into the jungle. Jungle. Yeah, so Jessica just met a lovely, lovely family. Yes. And they're going tonight on this jungle tour. And I'm so gutted that I can't go because I'm going to Surat Thani airport later today but uh hopefully you have a great time i know i will yeah. they're so cute they were super nice honestly oh. it was like a half german half greek, greek family super yeah. cute people but yeah we're just Second getting in the entrance so i don't really know there's a waterfall seven kilometers away is that too much to walk we can do it we can do it <laughs> it's already really hot so we decided to get some smoothies mm. Yeah, we just stopped at this little shack by the entrance of the park. We're gaining energy and now we're ready to go explore. So this is where we need to cross? I don't really know. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe over the we just reached the waterfall and Jess is trying to climb up that huge rock. So we'll see how she does. There she is. Okay, can you manage? Is it too high? No idea. I can't see from here. Be safe. The other one seems a bit harder actually. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Jess. So she able or not able to climb up. Oh, can I try? Yeah, I can do it too. Okay. Oh my. So I went around all these big rocks to meet Jess all the way up at the very back there. And I just realized it's so easy to just go through this direction. Oh, but I am very exhausted and I I struggled especially um, in kind of like from here to here because that, that rock here was super small. But I got it, and yeah, we couldn't really climb this. Um, I tried, and I was really worried about how I could get down, so I kinda got halfway and I was like, uh, get me down. <laughs> but yeah, this was really, really fun and a lot of exercise. Okay, I wanna jump, but I don't wanna break my camera. Um. 
Yeah, this is not waterproof, by the way, so. We're deeper into the jungle. We're looking for the waterfall, but we're not really finding it. Um, we have to leave the boat now, unfortunately, which is such a shame. But the view is fantastic. And, oh my god, we're both sweating incredibly. Like, what is this? Small animal. Yeah. Really so we were walking around more of the less beaten path and we saw a small animal and we kind of screamed a little bit <laughs> it scared us but it was fine <laughs> And we had to rush the goodbye as well. So sad. Oh. We're just leaving Kalsog National Park. It's just me and the driver in the minivan just now, but we're gonna pick some more people up. And uh, yeah, going to the airport to meet Thani. We stay the night there. We're gonna fly the next day. I just wanted to have a relaxed one, but I kind of regret it because they were gonna do like a safari night tour today, and I'm not gonna go on that. But it's tough. It's very, very, very warm. I didn't even have to shower, so I just kind of fresh with some baby wipes which is quite gross but this is what it is and uh, yeah I'm still in my sports dress so I'm gonna put on a t-shirt but it's really really hot. Yeah I'm so oh sad I have the best time with Jim. On the minivan I admired the landscape and reflected on the past two weeks of my trip. What had struck me most was how easy I found it to meet fellow travelers, to make friends on the go, but particularly meeting people who I just instantly click with. While I had pretty much always considered myself as an introvert, I discovered that I can be extremely extroverted at times. One of my travel friends did in fact tell me about a term that I hadn't come across before, ambivert. A person who shows both introverted and extroverted qualities in their personality. And I think this describes me pretty accurately. As an avid planning enthusiast, I also learned to be more spontaneous, to just figure stuff out as I go, to not dwell so much in perfecting the route and just seeing where the journey takes me. The highlights of my time in southern Thailand were kayaking to Rayleigh Beach, which unfortunately I don't have any footage of, and the boat ride to Chulalongkorn Lake. It's undoubtedly been a whirlwind of experiences in such a short amount of time, and now I can't wait to travel to Cambodia for many more adventures. I mean, the trip's just gotten started. I'm at Suratani Airport, just got dropped off from the minivan, and I'm waiting in front of this healthy shop where my hostel lady told me to meet. But I was really confused at first. I was like, where is this person that I'm trying to meet? But they're still to come. And uh, I spoke to the woman in the shop, and she said that I got a free water. So that was really, really lovely. I just feel so welcome in this country, like constantly. I'm really happy. I met a lovely Dutch lady on the minivan on the way here as well. So it's just so easy to meet people when you're traveling. And I really hope to continue that when I'm back home. Just kind of approach people, speak to them, just kind of start a conversation because most of the times I'm just doing my own thing. And you don't really try that hard to like talk to people in your own city. So that's one of the things that I want to improve on. deal with this it's too too much <laughs> so I just got to the airport as I said earlier and the woman from the health shop came to say to me she didn't speak any English but she was like oh come with me came out with gestures and stuff body language <laughs> and I got to go outside and then the woman from the hostel picked me up in her car and we drove for I mean five minutes or less it was really really near I mean I could have walked it but it was like maybe 25 minutes and then I get in and the woman is super lovely and they give me this like platter thing with like tiny bananas look at that and um, it also had a tiny orange juice that I drank because I was really thirsty the woman who brought us the hostel and then another woman were like being super nice breakfast is included in the hostel price and also is a 
transfer to and from the airport so it's amazing and right now I'm in this big room all by myself so I don't know if any other people are gonna come today but as you can see it's just me right now and uh, the bathroom is just in that door over there that's the bathroom as you can see they all kind of share like toilet and shower but that works for me that's the view from outside for yeah from the window they have this kind of gate I can't believe I'm leaving for fan club tomorrow and then the day after I'm away to Cambodia. So I kind of wasted like two days traveling, which I mean isn't the greatest, but I also kind of want to relax and do some research before I uh, step into a new country. So that'd be really good. But yeah, so I just chose this, well, the first bed I guess in the room. So this kind of grayish brownish one is mine. Oh, it's just, oh, okay. It's not very comfortable, but, um, I can handle it. My face is a constant state of glow because I am very sweaty. But besides that, it's fucking well. And I'm gonna go get dinner later downstairs. I'm um, looking forward to doing more vlogs like this because I've hardly had any alone time being with Jessica and everybody else. Little update. I'm still alone in this room. How crazy. So I have a 10 bedroom dorm all to myself. Across from this, there's another door, but it's just like a double bed, a double bed room. Um, so yeah, this house was pretty small, but honestly, I cannot get over still how nice they are. So I went down for dinner, I was just chilling there with my pad thai, and after that I asked if there was a shop nearby so I could get some tiger balm, because I have a, a huge bite on my leg. That's a huge bite. And they just gave me some balm, like I didn't even have to buy it. Like what the hell? <laughs> I just really love this hostel because the people are super nice and friendly, and I feel like a queen. Bye.